John gets home so late? He's become rather scarce ever since he's been fraternizing with Cardi. That's weird. Doesn't he know we have a field trip tomorrow? We need our quest! I'm sure our leader knows exactly what he's doing. Hmm. I guess so. Hey, John! <laughs> <laughs> Long time no see. Did you lock yourself out again? Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> Got it. So. Where have you been lately? I, uh... I messed up. I did something I shouldn't have, and now carton has got me on a leash, and Hero won't even talk to me. I'm starting to think coming to this school was a bad idea. I'm a failure. Nope. Nope? Nope. You're a leader now, Jean. You're not allowed to be a failure. But what if I'm a failure at being a leader. Nope. <laughs> you know, you're not the easiest person to talk to about this kind of stuff. Nope. John, maybe you were a failure when you were a kid. <sighs> you might have even been a failure the first day we met. <sighs> but you can't be one now. You know why? Uh, because... Because it's not just about you anymore. You've got a team now, John. We both do. And if we fail, then we'll just be bringing them down with us. We have to put our teammates first and ourselves second. Your team deserves a great leader, Jean. And I think that can be you. Have a good night, Jean. Hey, it's your buddy Cardin. I know you're probably busy with that dust project I gave you, but I'm gonna need you to go out and get me a bag of rapier wasps. Go uh -huh. And make sure they've got some really big stingers. It's important, so don't screw this up. Ah. Yes, students, the Forest of Forever Fall is indeed beautiful, but we are not here to sightsee. Professor Peach has asked all of you to collect samples from the trees deep inside this forest, and I'm here to make sure that none of you die while doing so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Each of you is to gather one jar's worth of red sap. However, this forest is full of the creatures of Grimm, so be sure to stay by your teammates. We will rendezvous back here at 4 o'clock. Have fun! Come on, buddy. Let's go. Great work, Johnny boy. Now that wasn't too hard, was it? I think I'm allergic to this stuff. Great, great, great. So, Jean, I bet you're asking yourself, why did my buddy Cardin ask me to collect six jars of tree sap when there's only five of us? That is one of the many questions I have asked myself today, yes? Well, come with me and you'll find out. Oh. Pardon, what's going on? Payback. Pira? What are you- That's the girl. Red-haired, know-it-all, thinks she's so smart. All right, boys. Last night, old John here managed to round up an entire box full of rapier wasps. And now, we're gonna put him to work. <laughs> now, according to one of the essays he wrote for me last week, 
These nasty things love sweets. I'm thinking it's time we teach her a thing or two. And you're gonna do it. Do what? Hit her with the sap. Either that, or I'll have a chat with Goodwitch, and you'll be on the first airship at a beacon. No. What did you say? I said... No! <laughs> Oh, you've done it now. 